Welcome. Uh, this question says an electric field of 2 newtons per coulomb points in the positive x direction. What is the electric flux that passes through a 3 square meter surface that is in the yz plane? So we have, let's just draw an axis. So this is our x and this is our y and this is our z and our electric field, I'll do that as a grey arrow, electric field is like that, points in the positive x direction and I don't have to show all the arrows, I'm just showing one arrow, it's for the electric field and um, I need to envisage to, to picture a area. This is my surface. I'm going to eventually call it a Gaussian surface. And it's three square meters and it's in this plane. And so the key thing is that there's 90 degrees between the surface and the electric field vector. And that helps me with my my definition of flux, which you can think of as being representative of the number of arrows I would draw passing through this surface if I was to do a uh, electric field diagram. The electric flux is equal to the magnitude of E times the area provided these two are perpendicular to each other so I kind of draw it like that. The definition is the flux is the electric field multiplied by the area when the area is perpendicular to the electric field. Uh, so in this case this is going to be my flux is equal to E which is simply 2 multiplied by my area my area is 3 so this equals 6 and now my units, and of course, well, it's E, which is newtons per coulomb, multiplied by area, which is meters squared. So with a little bit of thought, my units are never a problem. I can, I can always figure out my units by looking at what I just did. So this is just a very uh, fundamental visualization of this concept of flux. Um, it's a way of saying, well, we can use if you like the the density of electric field arrows to represent the electric field strength and I can decide how many arrows to imagine by determining what the flux is through this surface. I think a flux is the number of arrows through a surface. So there we have it.